Twinsies are a phenomenon all their own, and thanks to their unique biology, science has jumped right on that bandwagon too. Hey both of you, Trace here for D News. Scott and Mark Kelly are identical twin astronauts. Scott has already logged 180 days in space to date, but will head up for NASA's first full year mission in the International Space Station. Meanwhile, here on the ground, Mark is going to live the life of the Earthbound. After a year, they'll be able to compare their genes to see the effects of microgravity. The thing is, like in the early days of space, researchers at NASA have no idea what will come of this, but they are excited. Really excited, nonetheless. Studying twins is one of the pinnacles of science. To look at identical twins is to look at the same genetic code, almost, in two separate lives. In 1980, there were 68,339 twin births in the United States. In 2009, there were 137,000. As humans wait longer to give birth and the use of fertility treatments increase, the number of twins has more than doubled. That means one out of every 30 babies is a twin. Fraternal twins are two sperms and two eggs, basically two babies in the same womb, but identical twins form from a single fertilized egg that splits into two embryos. Science has some hypotheses on why they split in a natural pregnancy, but they're not really sure why, which makes them even more interesting. If you're not sure why these monozygotic twins don't look exactly alike, down to like every freckle, you're not alone. First of all, they don't have the same fingerprints because of the stresses put on each fetus in the womb. Little things like their position and even umbilical cord length can affect those little peaks and valleys swirling around our hands. Secondly, it's their DNA. A study done last year at the University of Alabama at Birmingham looked closely at the DNA and found that twins are not actually genetically identical. Certain gene copying variants were different, resulting in the subtle differences between some identical twins. It's not enough to invalidate previous studies with twins that assumed that their DNA was the same, but it does show why twins have some differences. The researchers guessed the actual genome changes happen after exposure to ionizing radiation or carcinogens, and studies with twin mice show that their experiences actually lead to a variety of biological differences, including brain development. All this shows the weight of environmental changes on your genome and on your development Epigenetics, yo! They're cool. There have been some records of unethical twin study in human history. Twins were being studied at Auschwitz, for example. But outside of the darker side of science, twins can be studied for good. Twins UK is a registry of 12,000 twins that uses their similar genetic codes to find diseases that they don't share. This lets researchers find genetic and environmental impacts on how human diseases and disorders appear as they age. The registry has thus far helped scientists discover 400 novel genes associated with over 30 diseases. With this as a base, DNA could be taken at birth, measured, and then remeasured throughout that person's life to personalize their medical care thanks to genetic and epigenetic changes over time. This is so exciting! What ethical twin experiments would you like to see done? Leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you can see both of our videos every day of the week. They're not twins, but they're still pretty good. <laughs>